This is Susan Bassey, and you're watching a video of the Los Gatos Police Chief, and this is a police department with a rich history known for public corruption centered around traffic ticket fixing. Los Gatos police officers were known to take traffic tickets to judges they knew would dismiss the cases or not prosecute them as they would for others, and the people whose tickets were fixed were volunteers at the local Little League and politically connected individuals in the town. And police departments are not supposed to arrest and prosecute or not arrest and prosecute based on an individual's race, religion, gender, or politics. But we find more often than not, when people express their views, opinions, and ideas as the First Amendment allows them to, and those views, opinions, and ideas are disfavored by those who are politically in charge, that that translates to inequity when it comes to the local police. I understand that, ma'am. I, really I understand care. that. More officers arrive as they wait for a supervisor. My driveway. I was on the phone with Dennis Kohlmeyer saying, would you please tell the person who's following me? Dennis Kohlmeyer is the police chief of the Webster Police Department, and he is the one that District Attorney Sandra Dorley called to get out of that traffic ticket. But more importantly, it's not what we see. It's what we didn't see because Dennis Kohlmeyer waited over 10 days to comment on the incident and still the district attorney was never arrested for fleeing a police officer and defying his orders. I'm on Phillips Road, yes you yeah. did, and there are other cars. I was right behind you, directly behind you. So and you should know better. So that's not a traffic ticket. That's an arrestable offense. Police officers have the discretion to arrest or not arrest somebody when they know that a crime has been committed. And that is important, whether it's a district attorney, a judge, a politician, or even just a community member who is supportive of certain politics in the town, as we see with this woman, Erica Zamora, in Los Gatos. <laughs> Erica Zamora was a Los Gatos resident who rented a house and was quite comfortable exercising her First Amendment rights. She would speak at public meetings, she would associate with certain groups, and she would leaflet communities to express her views, opinions, and political positions throughout the community. She would even engage in speech that many people would find rude or offensive. Hey! Wow. Have a good day! Get away from me. And Erica Zamora was known to harass one neighbor in particular, Lindley. And Lindley couldn't get the Los Gatos police to do anything about it, including when Erica Zamora was caught on camera stealing her camera from her porch. And so Lindley took her matter to civil court, and she filed for a restraining order against her neighbor. But that case kept getting moved around to judges who were in clubs and had memberships and conflicts of interest with Erica Zamora's attorney, Nicole Ford. Everybody has a First Amendment right to associate, to speech, and to engage in a number of activities. They don't have a right to steal somebody's property, to consistently disturb their peace in their home, or to have judges presiding over their civil harassment cases without making proper disclosures. You know about that? Um, if you'd like to call one of our officers, I mean, we're available 24 hours nope, a day. I've already done everything. There are two cases against her, and this is a very serious, violent act. Okay. Please take this seriously because it's very, very big. And while police officers have the discretion to investigate or prosecute certain crimes, they don't have the discretion to do so selectively based on somebody's gender, race, politics, or even speech as we have consistently seen out of Los Gatos, California. I'm the one, I'm one of the main reasons why you all passed the SB 1100, okay? We were just in Los Gatos and, and all that commotion. It was because of me. You blamed, everybody blamed me. It was out of the politics of Los Gatos and the very powerful people, including the police chief, the attorneys, and the elected politicians, that this law was born. It's a law that allows public officials presiding over public meetings to remove a speaker whose comments they consider disruptive to the meeting. But when people are in charge politically, they can decide anything is disruptive and they can make an arrest and criminalize speech 
faster than you can blink your eye. And this bill was sponsored by California State Senator Dave Cortese and Evan Lowe, who is currently running for Congress in Washington, D.C. Lindley, 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 sorry, okay, yes, yes, okay. yes Lindley, yes, yes, that's yes, my yes. person. But I am the one that you all I, want I, to I blame understand. for everything, okay. and I am not a bad person. You, I love my family, I love my three daughters, and I love my daughter no matter who, how she identifies. But please forgive me for whatever you think I did. I never meant to hurt anybody, but I'm, we all need two sides of the story. Oh, yes. Because you can't make a good decision if you don't know what other people think. And I am very hurt. My, I am very hurt because the school did not talk to me at all until after my daughter was affirmed. And then she, they sent her home affirmed. And I didn't know anything about it. Police officers enforcing the law based on feelings and politics creates a bigger public safety issue. There's a bigger risk of public corruption, of judges, lawyers, and politicians going out of control, and even politicians who think they can just prosecute themselves or not. Home. The officer issued her a speeding ticket and duly apologized at the scene, and in a video later she released to the public. But some say that's not enough. Given D DA Dorley's belligerence and failure to comply with any of the commands of the officer who initiated the stop, a sobriety test was warranted. Yet the responding officers did not administer one. Hence, the public will never know if Sandra Dorley was under the influence or otherwise impaired that evening. Those who spoke tonight also want an independent investigation into the police present that day. Investigating as to why they allow for someone to go, you know, to break a law within their town um, and, and call the chief of police to get off on that. I think that that's the bigger issue and what needs to be investigated. The Webster Town supervisor disagrees. I personally am extremely proud of the way the Webster Police Department handled a very difficult situation. And I would also say that I'm thankful that uh, D.A. Dorley apologized to our police department uh, earlier this week. I mean, she knew, she knew exactly that she was going 55 in the 20, or 35. She even called the chief. We pay police officers, district attorneys, and judges to enforce and apply the law equally, regardless of somebody's power, political position, or their views and opinions and ideas, even if they are favored by society at a particular point in time. The law has to be evenly applied, and willful disobedience of it, meaning knowingly breaking the law and stepping over that First Amendment line, needs to be enforced equally as well.